Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can turn this $30 Adventure Kings pump into something multi-purpose and truly spectacular for a very low price. You can buy this pump online for just $30 delivered and that's exactly what I did and I wasted absolutely no time modifying it for a multi-purpose use. Now the modifications that I'll be doing to this pump today will fit back inside the standard Adventure Kings bag. So if you want to see this modified pump in action and more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. So what do we need to complete this modification? Firstly, you'll need a hose with fittings attached, or if you don't buy a hose with fittings already attached, you'll need at least two fittings. You'll need a hose clamp, this is optional, a garden hose joiner, and a pair of cutters, and of course, your Adventure Kings Any Source portable shower. The first step of the modification process is to snip the shower head off of the hose or to simply just pull it off. I've gone ahead and snipped it just for convenience. After you snip, there will be this small black barb. You wanna make sure that is still intact along with the screw on cap for the shower head. And you'll also have your Adventure Kings shower head here. The next step in the modification process is you wanna grab your cutters and go ahead and cut the small piece that joins these two together. That will then free up the hose from the 12 volt cable. Once you've snipped the connecting wire, you wanna go ahead and pull the old hose off. Now you can keep this hose if you've never used it before. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Although I just find that it's very difficult to fit fittings on this very small thin hose. So for that purpose, I'm going to discard it. The next step to making your pump even better now involves your garden hose. I've gone out and bought 15 meters of hose of the same size with fittings already attached. You can buy larger hoses and make more fittings to suit your setup, but I'm just going with this for now. Firstly, what you wanna do is cut a small length off one side of the hose, like I've done here, with one of the fittings attached. After you've cut your small length of hose, you wanna put this over where the old hose connected. Now I've gone ahead and added a hose clamp on here just for peace of mind. You don't have to do this, especially if the hose you're using is the same size as the old one, but this gives me peace of mind just knowing that this hose clamp is on there holding that in. Once you have completed this step, you have then completed the base for what makes this pump really spectacular. You've gone now from this pump being a single purpose shower to now potentially having so much purpose. You can use this pump just as it is now. You can extend it. You can literally add anything that fits a hose onto the end of this. So now I've gone ahead and added the garden hose joiner onto the end. And this forms, for my purposes, the base of my pump. If I don't need this pump for any other use besides potentially filling up a kettle or filling up something with water, this is what I'll use. I don't need to have anything else on the end of this pump. It's that simple. It's nice and short, so the water pressure is gonna be incredibly high. And still, I can do so much with this pump. Moving on to the next part of the modification. If you still want to use this pump for its intended purpose, which is a shower, you can. With the remainder of your hose, or a length of hose that suits you, you wanna have this fitting on one end, and then you wanna go ahead and make this on the other end. So in the very first step, when you snip the shower head off of the stock piece of hose, this black bulb would have come out of this. You wanna go ahead and feed this blue thing on first, and then you wanna go ahead and push this barb in far enough so it doesn't come out. And there you have the base of what your shower will screw onto. With the shower head screwed onto the end, this is exactly the same as the stock pump, except the hose is actually almost twice as long. And now the pump has a multi-purpose. If you don't wanna use this, you can simply take this off the top and use this as an extension piece. So you now have more length out of your pump. Remember to keep in mind, however, that the longer you go, the less water pressure you will have from this tiny little pump. 
Now this is all that I have made for my particular setup, but you can see that this has so much more potential. All that I really need is right here. The pump still serves its original purpose as a shower, although now I can use it for other purposes as well. You can go ahead and create anything from this with any leftover hose that you have, as long as you have a hose connector attached on the end, and then whatever you want on the other side. So without further ado, it's time to test this guy out. Now a very important thing to take into consideration when using the Adventure King's Any Source pump is that it's got a quite a wide diameter, meaning that only certain types of jerry cans can fit the pump inside. For example, this jerry can fits the pump beautifully. However, this jerry can does not. For $25 from Big W, you can buy the correct size jerry cans. Now, we're gonna stick our pump in and test out the new setup. Now that we have our pump in the jerry can, you can really see that this part serves as the foundation to whatever extensions that you want to make. Once it's turned on, the pressure is quite good. And you can use this if you just wanna simply fill up a small container or a small thing of water right next to your jerry can effortlessly. If that isn't enough for you, all you have to do then is add on whatever extension piece you have and you can get up to incredible distances with a very similar water pressure on the pump. Just have a look at the distance that we're able to achieve with this portable shower and we're still achieving quite a good pressure. Now out here in the open, this may have looked incredibly complicated, but I promise you, it really isn't. And once you try it for yourself, you'll never want to go back to tipping the water out of the jerry can again. When you're in the back of your four wheel drive and you have your AGM battery right next to you, it's really simple to use. Now keep in mind also, the length of hose that I've used, you don't necessarily have to copy directly. You can make these whatever length you want to suit your setup. And I definitely recommend making them custom to suit yours. And there we have it guys. As promised, the pump fits back into the stock bag with ease. Now of course, keep in mind, this will all depend on the amount of hose that you use and how much length you actually have. Mine was relatively small and simple so it was able to fit back in the bag easy. If you're using all 15 meters, you may have to uh, get a new storage bag. All right guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped you learn how to do something really awesome with your simple pieces of equipment. All up, this project cost me around $80, including the $30 that it cost me to purchase the pump. That shows you how cheap you can do some really awesome things. If you like this video, guys, be sure to hit the thumbs up. I really appreciate the support. And if you want to see this pump in action, be sure to subscribe and keep an eye out for upcoming camping trips where I'll be showing it off. And as always, guys, thanks heaps for the support, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.